So let's zoom in and read the next question. So it says, the next question is about the elements in the periodic table. Look at the list of elements. So we're given boron, chlorine, copper, fluorine, magnesium, nickel, nitrogen, phosphorus. So you're being asked to answer the questions. Choose all your answers from the list. Each element can be used once, more than once, or not at all. So the periodic table on the back of the page may help you, but the periodic table that we will use is the one given in the revision guide. If we zoom in, uh, we'll use this one instead. So going back to the exam question, you're being asked to write down the name of the element which has an atom that contains 15 protons for one mark. So 15 protons is like saying 15 electrons because in a stable atom, the number of protons and electrons are the same. So if it's 15 electrons, you're basically looking for an atom on the periodic table with the atomic number 15. So with the aid of our periodic table and the atomic number is the lower number, we're looking for where the lower number says 15 and we know that's phosphorus. So is there a phosphorus in the example? Yes, there is for one mark. So the next question reads, write down the name of the element that has an electronic structure of 2,5. So for one mark, electronic structure of 2,5 is like saying it's got 7 electrons, or another way of saying it, it's got atomic number 7. So therefore, we're looking at nitrogen for the answer. And is there nitrogen in the example? Uh, yes, there is right here. So two marks with the aid of the periodic table in less than 20 seconds. Uh, for this page, past exam papers have mainly tested students' knowledge of here, water, CO2, uh, this higher tier material section on weakened or molecular forces of attraction, and all of this here for the dot and cross diagrams for water, hydrogen, methane, chlorine, and carbon dioxide. So let's go through the exam questions to see how all of this stuff was examined on. So if we zoom in, the question is about carbon dioxide. The bonds in carbon dioxide are made up of shared electrons. What type of bonding is this? So choose from the list of three for one mark. So the keyword is carbon dioxide, and what type of bonding is this? So if we go back to the revision guide, we are told under the section of covalent bonding that CO2 has covalent bonding and water has covalent bonding. So returning back to the exam question, the answer has to be covalent. One mark, less than 10 seconds. So the next question reads, carbon dioxide is a gas with a low melting point. This is a physical property. Write down one other physical property of carbon dioxide for one mark. So going back to the revision guide, if we zoom in, Carbon dioxide is a gas with a low melting point and doesn't conduct electricity. So these two points are important. They could have gave the example instead of carbon dioxide, but put water instead. So then you'll know if they put water, you would have these two memorized already. So returning back to the exam question, for one mark, the other physical property is it doesn't conduct electricity. So question C reads, the bonds in water are also made up of shared electrons. Look at the diagrams. They show the electronic structures of hydrogen and of oxygen. So here you got your hydrogen, you got your oxygen. So draw a dot and cross diagram to show bonding in water, H2O, for two marks. So as the revision guide shows, the dot and cross diagram for water is this. So basically, you just need to recall this for the two marks where there's two hydrogens for one oxygen, and that for the hydrogen, one of the electrons belongs to the hydrogen, and one of the electrons belongs to the oxygen, and you do the same for the other hydrogen atom. So basically, draw this as it is to get the two marks. So in total, you would have got four marks in probably less than a minute. This next question is your typical layout of a question asking about the periodic table where they kind of give you your choices and then they ask you some questions regarding the choices. So if we zoom in, this question is about the elements in the periodic table. Look at the list of elements. So here's your list. And the question continues, answer the questions, choose all your answers from the list. Each element can be used once, more than once, or not at all. The periodic table on the back page may help you. So instead of a back page, we're going to be using the revision guide, which is here. So if we zoom in, and so now we can continue with the questions. So write down the name of the element with eight electrons in its outer shell. So for one mark, they're basically looking from the choices, an element with full outer shells, basically a group eight element. So if we go to the periodic table, we know it's either helium, neon, or argon. So from the choices that were given, we look for helium, neon, or argon, and we can see that neon is in the choice. So one mark, just like that. So next question, write down the name of an element in the fourth period of the periodic table. Fourth period basically means uh, four electrons in the outer shell or group four of the periodic table. So if we run down along group four, it's either carbon or silicon. Now, is there carbon or silicon in the choice? And yes, we're given carbon as the choice. So another mark. So write down the name of an element with an electronic structure of two, four. So basically six electrons in total, atomic number six. So going to the periodic table, Atomic number six is carbon. So therefore, 
uh, carbon was used twice. If you paid attention to the question, it says that the element can be used once or more than once. So don't be um, concerned or worried that just because you used carbon in the previous answer, you can't use it again. So basically read the questions carefully. Three marks, less than a minute. So the next question is also asking about the periodic table. And if you notice, it's laid out in pretty much the same way. So if we zoom in and begin, this question is about the elements in the periodic table. Look at the list of elements. So here are your choices. Answer the questions, choose your answers from the list. Each element can be used once, more than once, or not at all. So the periodic table on the back page may help you, but in our case, we're gonna use the revision guide. So the first question, write down the name of an element which has eight electrons in its outer shell. So for one mark, basically, they're looking for an element in the group eight of the periodic table. And we know that has to be either helium, neon, or argon. And here's the choice given, it's neon. And let's confirm this with the periodic table. Group eight, yes, we're told is neon. So one mark in 10 seconds. Next question, write down the name of an element which has the electronic structure 281. So 281 is basically saying it's got 11 electrons in total, um, atomic number 11. So going to the revision guide, Atomic number 11, the element must be sodium. And is there sodium in the choices? I believe so. So there you have it. Two marks in 20 seconds. So here we have yet another periodic table question laid out in pretty much the same way. So the question reads, write down the name of the element which has only six electrons in its outer shell. So for one mark, we're looking for an element in group six of the periodic table. So if we go to the revision guide, group six column, so it's either oxygen or sulfur. Now that's what we're looking for in the choices. Sulfur or oxygen, and here we have oxygen. So one mark. Next question, write down the name of the element which has the electronic structure 2881. So for one mark, we're looking for an element with the atomic number of eight plus eight, 16, 17, 18, 19. Atomic number 19. So with the aid of our revision guide, we're looking for 19, and we're told it's potassium. So is there potassium in the choices? Yes, there is two marks. So here we have yet another periodic table question laid out in pretty much the same way. So the question reads, write down the name of the element which has only six electrons in its outer shell. So for one mark, we're looking for an element in group six of the periodic table. So if we go to revision guide, group six column. So it's either oxygen or sulfur. Now that's what we're looking for in the choices. Sulfur or oxygen, and here we have oxygen. So one mark. Next question, write down the name of the element which has the electronic structure 2881. So for one mark, we're looking for an element with the atomic number of eight plus eight, 16, 17, 18, 19. Atomic number 19. So with the aid of our revision guide, we're looking for 19 and we're told it's potassium. So is there potassium in the choices? Yes, there is, two marks. And the next question reads, the atoms in a molecule of chlorine CL2 are held together by a covalent bond. Draw the dot and cross diagram for a molecule of chlorine. You only need to include the electrons in the outer shell of chlorine. So you'll get two marks for drawing the dot and cross diagram of chlorine showing a covalent bond. So they're basically asking you to recall your understanding of this diagram here. So if we zoom in, basically you just have to recall this diagram as it is showing that the chlorines are sharing the electrons over here. Although the instructions say that you only need to include the outer shell, there's no harm in giving more information. So I would just say draw this as it is. So therefore you've covered everything and you didn't miss anything out. There's no harm in adding more. You're not gonna get penalized for it. So for the two marks, just draw this as it is. And um, in future questions, they may ask you about methane instead or hydrogen or CO2. And I would approach those questions in exactly the same way. Just draw the diagrams as they appear in this revision guide, even though they may just ask for the outer shell only. So here we have another question on the periodic table and it reads, look at the diagram. It shows an outline of the periodic table as shown. So answer the questions, choose your answers only from the symbols shown on the outline table, using the periodic table on the back page to help you. So which symbol shows an element whose atoms have eight electrons in their outer shell? So they're looking for an element in group eight of the periodic table, which has full outer electrons. And there's only one symbol in there and that's AR. So you'd write AR here for the one mark. And the last question, because these two questions, we haven't gone through the revision material yet. The element in group two and period five. So group two and period five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's gotta be SR, so SR. So two marks in a very short period of time.